This is Teku, welcome back to the channel, and um, today's video is gonna be a little bit funny, so if you guys are on Twitter, you guys might have heard of Mr. T-Lexify, as he has, <laughs> he had this hilarious situation where he posted a video of screenshots of his ex-girlfriend completely embarrassing him as she cheated and um she didn't even care bro like oh it was so brutal bro like it, it's like six minutes long you can see the video playing right here on your screen obviously but i'm not gonna read it but if you pause to just read some of these messages oh god bro it is brutal bro she did this man so dirty bro it's not even funny bro i couldn't imagine if i got cheated on this how my ex has reacted bro she reacted with no care in the world she was telling this man to off himself and that you can't make me come and all this crazy shit that would have my heart down to my stomach bro my dude he was dating her for seven years so he was completely in love with her and that's how she reacted bro oh man it's like if you're dating for like only like a month i wouldn't even care but like it is what it is she's a bop throw to the side but seven years and that's how you treat me after you cheated on me with another man oh man oh man i, I probably off myself <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's probably time to self delete, but no, I'm, I'm just playing around. But, um, anyways, after you posted that on, oh, like that got so many views, like I'm pretty sure that's up to like 100 million impressions by now. Jesus, it's had 121 impressions, so like the, the damn near the whole Twitter has seen this shit. And now, this guy who I thought was just a random Twitter dude, but actually, he's supposedly a YouTuber, I had no idea. Yeah, he's sitting here with one million subscribers. Why would you post that, bro? You are a huge YouTuber, why would you? you want to embarrass yourself like that by posting your ex and make yourself seem like some down bad cuck loser bro because essentially that's what he was the way he was reacting back to his ex you know i would have told that bitch fuck you like go suck a dick or something like the way he was reacting oh i love you why would you treat me like this i deserve better can we like move past this and like it's like bro the, the man was was a soy boy to the max right so anyway so yeah mr t lefty lex 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 i mean was a youtuber this whole time which i had no idea and now he's been exposed for being a pito yes he was supposedly out here <clears throat> jesus sorry about that but he was supposed to be out here testing a minor not only that it, it gets a lot worse as serious a video of him supposedly kissing this minor who was accusing him of cumin allegations so john blur just broke this story about an hour ago and it says allegations against youtuber mr t lexify surface contact creator ren claims he was inappropriate with her when she was a minor sharing explix evidence and here she says by the way i'm 16 years old and lex is 19 years old gripping my up area at z house party i was drunk and high out of my mind you are effing evil for trying to flip this on me why not tell everyone how you put me in your will why not tell everyone about how you choked me and told me you were going to off me because i found out you were messaging barely legal girls at 26 so is this the girl who cheated on him i'm not sure somebody can let me know if this is the girl but for right now i'm gonna assume that this is a whole different girl so yeah here's a video of him kissing her you know it's, it's not cp or nothing like that but it is inappropriate you guys might skip this you guys probably should if you just not comfortable with seeing this but i'm gonna put it here just for the evidence it, it's just not that bad i guess even though it, it is r kelly type behavior but it is what it is okay so this is a editing i'm not gonna post a video because i'm not too sure how youtube would react to a 19 year old kissing a 16 year old if you want to see the video just go to the john miller twitter page with that being said let's continue on yeah that was disgusting I kind of feel like I should be on a watch list just for <laughs> showing you guys that. Kind of crazy. Bro, what be going on at these parties, bro? Like, are y'all telling me these contact careers be throwing diddy parties? Cody Ko just got exposed for effing Tana Mojo when she was 17 at a party. Now we have you kissing and effing a 16-year-old at a party, bro. Like, what is it with you YouTube content creators and these parties, bro? Like, why do you even have underage girls there in the first place? I'm not understanding, bro. Now, I'm just remembering there was a TikTok party where there were underage girls there. And one of those famous TikTokers were trying to smash one of the underage girls. I forgot who it was, but it was like one of those pretty boy Latino guys. You guys might know who I'm talking about. He was around like Bryce Hall and them. Yeah, but one, one of those guys that got exposed for essentially doing the same shit that the other two niggas are doing. So, there's something we just 
don't know about true content creators, bro. You guys are all on this R. Kelly type shit, and it's kind of like becoming a standard that huge YouTubers are tending to be pedos who talk to underage girls. Like, why? Why? Are you one of those guys who have an obsession with, like, purity or something like that? Oh, she's 16. She must be a virgin. No, 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 bro. A lot of these young girls in high school, along with, alongside with a lot of young men, are effing each other, bro. They're not even pure for real anyway so another girl had to expose him mind you he did me at first and continued talking to me and skype me after i told him i was 13 now i'm not too sure how old mr t lexify was but clearly she was underage even saying he wanted a friend in ireland he could come visit know my age and that i was a fan he a fan he a fan he a fan he a fan, he a fan, he a fan. Freaky ass nigga, he a 6 and 9 god. Freaky ass nigga, he a 6 and 9 god. Hey, 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 hey. Run for your life. Whoop. I can't tell you anymore because she privated her Twitter account, but clearly she doesn't really want to be involved in like the whole cancellation thing or just being famous. So, you know, I'm respect the privacy and just move on. But Mr. T did respond to some of the allegations, which would be the first one with his ex-girlfriend saying my ex and I met when we were both minors as 15 year old and 17 year old. She wanted to date, but I had essentially told her that we were too young and we decided to remain as friends. We then later decided to date and ended the relationship because I wanted to get out of the relationship after you weren't a good fit. We had, and I don't know, it cuts off right there. But everything is just a clusterfuck, as apparently the ex is also a pito as you remember when she was cheating on him and he posted those screenshots of the Snapchat video that were brutal as fuck? Well, a lot of people overlook the fact that she was 21 who cheated on him with a 17-year-old. That's crazy because if the roles were reversed and that was a man, nobody would even care about the shit that he was saying. People were calling him a pedo like they're trying to do to Mr. Alexa the Fire right now. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, the messages that she was sending, they would be crucifying this man like he's Jesus, bro. So that's just Double standards living in society, people are completely overlooking the fact that she's a pedo herself and she is a really mean asshole. Like, my God, she even wrote this in a journal that she wanted to sleep with Mr. Lawrence, who's 17, and that was her only birthday wish? Oh, Jesus Christ, bro. This is uh, t this is terrible. Holy smokes. And he did make a Google document defending himself. I would say he defended himself pretty well. I'm not going to like show him here because it's 30 pages long and it's just like too long to summarize was going on but um basically the girlfriend was a psycho woman and the possible chance of, hi of her just trying to defame and destroy this guy's career is there okay she's a nut job as you see she has fucking journals and her wish to sleep with 70 year olds and shit like that she's really mean telling this man to off himself and this and that she has no remorse for her actions at all now that could be because mr t himself had cheated in the past or whatever but that's besides the point if you hate this man that much why don't you just leave or whatever so yeah i guess the only weird thing about mr t is that he is a soft ass simp and he's also was 19 dating a 16 year old i'm not sure if this was the current girlfriend or the ex-girlfriend that we see he's exposing that's who he was dating or whatever i I'm, i don't know somebody could clarify that but um yeah man that's all situation basically we got two pedos accusing each other of being pedos i guess <laughs> if, that, if that's the conclusion i mean that's where it really comes down to bro it's just one clearly a crazy psychopath while the other one is just i don't know like unraised girls, I guess. So, yep, that's it. With that being said, I'm logging out.